2019. Woo! Shayna! He was chosen by his peers to represent this graduating class. Would Shane Lafrette please approach the podium? as a sincere person. He sincerely tries his best and works hard in his academic pursuits. He sincerely puts forth his best effort in sports, whether it's in practice or during a game. He sincerely has his friends and peers' best interests at heart and would do anything for them. He sincerely wants to make his family proud and supports them in sickness and in health and through all of life's challenges. Shane, sincerely, is a good man who is dedicated to making his part of the world a happier, funnier, better place. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Shane Lafrette. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for gathering here today to commemorate all that the Bell Rodish High School class of 2018 has been able to accomplish. Bon après-midi après à tous, et merci pour réunir ici pour commémorer tout que la classe de 1918 de l'école secondaire Bellevue a pu accomplir. First and foremost, I would like to say congratulations, everybody. We did it. Um, we finished a seemingly impossible four-year journey, and as we turn over the next chapter of our lives, I hope that the memories we've made on BRDHS soil will last a lifetime. It's an honor to be up here today representing just under 200 magnificent young men and women who will inevitably shape the world of tomorrow. For now, I'd like to compare my life to the life of a dog. <laughs> On the first day, I was a puppy, excited and full of energy. Then second period came, and now I was a lost puppy. Where do I go? Who are these people? Where do I pee? From there, I looked for guidance, and I fell into Miss Moisland's lap. She's been a great role model for myself and many other students here today. But what I've learned is that every teacher here is genuine and would have been more than happy to, ha happy to help me on that day. From there onward, we've developed into that trusty old dog that loves for the day. And I'm sure we've learned a couple things, like how to get our homework done on the night before with five seconds left, how to communicate to others to get their homework, how to communicate with teachers to explain to them that hmm, my dog gave my homework. <laughs> now let's reminisce. September 3rd, 2014, at 79 degrees and sunny with eight kilometer per hour winds from the south. All is well. <laughs> you enter the school, you see artwork throughout, from murals to paintings, you see vegetation, and you see a wall of fame dedicated to memorable nobles, and you hope, wow, Maybe I can be here one day. Day goes on, you go to class, time flies by. You know, all is well, you survive. And you think, wow, I can't draw a shoe, am I gonna graduate? <laughs> Fast forward four years and here we are, graduating in a theater from a place we called home for what seemed like not long enough. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself in any direction you choose. I encourage each and every one of you to chase your dreams and be exactly who you want to be. But it's not going to be easy, so I challenge you to enjoy the ride and simply just have fun. It's a broken road, and at the end of the day, don't take life too seriously, because nobody makes it out alive. <laughs> Without a doubt, each and every one of you will accomplish great things in the future, but enough about the future. Let's talk about all the great memories we've made these past four years. There are many wonderful events put on throughout. We've seen TSN-worthy dodges and throws. We've seen Broadway-caliber plays. We saw Tay G as our prom queen. And on Halloween, we saw the cleanest costume courtesy of Mr. Ash. Athletically, we've done some incredible things on every playing surface from the rink 
to the sand pits. Some of you may not know this, but the boys hockey team won off last year. <laughs> Although I didn't do much, it was hands down the most incredible experience of my high school career. Our track team sends runners to offsa year after year, and our football team grinds like only nobles can. In baseball, soccer, volleyball, curling, golf, and basketball, we had big wins and crushing defeats. But none of this would have been possible without the great staff that double as teachers, or great staff that double as coaches for nothing but their own satisfaction. And at the end of the day, at the end of our own respective seasons, one thing that remained universal is that our teams bonded like family and we all like green. Academically, we are equally outstanding, impressing thousands at robotics competitions across North America. Our greatest feat being a top four finish at the World Championship in St. Louis. We are considered the smartest school on the board, ranking highest in both math and English. But we also rank highest in unmeasurable statistics, such as kindness, school spirit, and pride. Thanks to these academic and athletic achievements, we were able to draw in tens of outstanding exchange students from China. And I feel like we did a great job welcoming them in and making them feel like family. Us nobles have put our blood, sweat, and tears into arriving here today. And when I mean sweat, I mean sweat. Consider this, the average person sweats around four liters per day. And when you endure the blistering conditions of Bell Ridge High School, you sweat over double that. So I did a little math, and the 190 graduates that sit before you, during our four years, have sweat 175,000 liters more than our counterparts at St. Anne's. <laughs> Those air-conditioned guys, wow, they have it nice. But you know, if we took all that sweat and we put it together, we could fill the pool at the ATC Center. <laughs> Think about that. Now I ask each and every one of you to look back at the time you spent in high school and ask yourself a couple questions. What made these four years special to you? What teacher changed your life for better or for worse? And what day will you never forget? However, some questions from your high school career will inevitably remain unanswered. Like half of the ones I missed the Fiatov's test. <laughs> or, was it Yanni or Laurel? I don't know. Does Mr. Bialy have a son in minor hockey? <laughs> Will the Colorado Ever Avalanche ever be relevant? No. <laughs> Does Mr. Gamba have an indoor voice? No. Oh yeah, we know. And last but not least, does Mr. Lottie even own a pair of pants? <laughs> with the closing remarks, I would like to re reiterate to you that life is too short to wake up in the morning with regrets. So love the people who treat you right, forgive the ones who don't, and believe that everything happens for a reason. If you get the chance, take it. If it changes your life, let it. Nobody said it'd be e easy, they just said it'd be worth it. To the graduating class of 2018, I want to thank you for allowing me to represent you so diligently and remind you that behind you are all your memories, before you are all your dreams, around you is all who love you, and within you is all you need. Congratulate, congratulations, graduating class of 2018, and to all a good night.